हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम सिलेबस व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर थ्रू आउट द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट टू टीच यू ईच एंड एवरी कंसेप्ट इन अ इजी वे सो नो नीड टू वरी अबाउट सब्जेक्ट्स ओके इट्स अ वेरी इजी एंड स्कोरिंग सब्जेक्ट आई विल गिव यू द गारंटी आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस कोर्स यू विल फाइंड the subject is very easy okay so let us have a look at the syllabus of a basic electronics engineering okay yes the main objective before discussing the syllabus so what is the course objective of this syllabus okay first of all here in this subject we are going to discuss the components with the help of which we can made any electronic circuits all of you know guys electronic circuits are made up of components okay so that active components and passive components we are going to discuss in the unit number 1 okay and how with the help of that components we can design any electronic circuit which also we will be discussing in the unit number 1 and 2 okay then unit number 3 unit number 3 is basically deals with the logic gates and some digital computations all of you know that computer understands only binary language so how the binary computations is going to happen that we are going to discuss in the unit number 3 okay then unit number 4 in unit number 4 we are going to discuss some more advanced basic topics of the electronic circuits in the unit number 4 and how we can achieve a particular application with the help of those active components or i can say with the help of those electronic circuits which we are going to discuss in the unit number 4 then unit number 5 is about all measurements and the sensors okay so we can measure various electronic quantities like voltage current resistance okay so what devices we require for measuring this that we are going to discuss in the unit number 5 and then unit number 6 is basically all about the communication how we are exchanging the information with the other user that go had how that communication is going to happen that discussion we are going to take in the unit number 6 so this is all about the course objective of this subject now let us move towards the course outcome what you can achieve at the end of the syllabus okay after completing this course so students you will gain the knowledge of all the electronic components all the electronic circuits how the digital computation is going to happen in the binary language okay then how the overall electronic devices works how we are going to measure various electronic quantities and at the end how the electronic communication is going to happen in the real life that also we are going to discuss okay now this is a overall syllabus of this subject okay so basically there are total 6 chapters okay so in the first chapter we are going to discuss about i told you what is the importance of the electronics in the industry how we are going to achieve a particular objective in the electronic industry domain with the help of by learning those components that we are going to discuss in the unit number 1 so guys this is the overall syllabus of unit number 1 then unit number 2 how we can combine those active devices and passive devices to achieve a particular application that we are going to discuss about in unit number 2 so unit number 2 is basically about transistors okay unit number 3 is about logic gates and how the digital circuits can be operated with the help of these logic gates that we are going to discuss in the unit number 3 unit number 4 unit number 4 is about all the electronic instruments which we are going to use in the laboratory while performing a practical these are we are going to discuss in the chapter number 4 chapter number 5 is all about sensors we have various electronic types of sensors and how it is used 
that we are going to discuss in the unit number 5 in addition to that we are going to study about a communication system okay what is gsm what is gprs how it is used in the real life that we are going to discuss in the unit number 5 itself okay so these are the reference books which i had refer for preparing the subsequent course material okay all pdfs i will be sharing that you need to refer okay these are the reference books for this subject for for preparing my material i had referred these books okay these are the reference books of each and every chapter okay but for you no need to refer these books guys just go through my slides and presentations because at the end of each chapter discussion we will be going to discuss we will be revising those contents one more time okay so my main objective is just to make this subject easy so happy reading thank you